What's up everybody, Cigar Stripper Laird Mayhew back with another cigar review and today I've got the brand new, just released, hot off the presses, Viaje Fat Carolina Reaper. Stay tuned. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back. Welcome back to another installment here at Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. It's over here or over there. It'll let you know whenever we post a review or, you know, an upcoming premiere. Keep you in the loop with what we're doing around here. Alright, as my intro said, I have got a just-released cigar. I think it, it came out uh, last week on Half Wheel that they were going to ship. That was about 18 days ago. I was driving home yesterday. I looked at my Facebook page and I saw I got a notification from a local B&M and said, boom, we've got them. Okay. I don't know why. They, they're a rare cigar, so I always grab them. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this one. I think this is the first time they ever released it. This is the Viaje, Carolina, the Fat Carolina Reaper. Now, if you're a fan of the Viaje and you remember you know, in years past, they had the, they have a pepper line, okay, so it's all these cigars named after peppers, all right, so about four years ago, I think, maybe, they had the Carolina Reaper, it was a smaller gauge cigar, then they had the Jalapeno, then they had the Fat Jalapeno last year, and this year, they've got the Fat Carolina Reaper, they also have a Ghost Pepper, which I've never had, I've had the, all of the Ghost Pepper, Pepper, I mean, the Carolina Reaper and the two jalapenos. Last year was the jalapeno. I think I even did a review on that. Didn't get too many views. We were a new channel, but they're not very famous. I mean, they're not very uh, popular cigars amongst the people that I know personally. So maybe YouTube is a little bit different. Um, so it is a, like a perfecto, okay, it's a perfecto size. So it's a 55 ring gauge. It is a five and three sixteenths is the length, but it's kind of, you know, it's fatter towards the end, kind of like a spliff. Okay, and it's got that fluted tip right there. I don't know what that's called. I'm going to call it like a just a fluted tip. <laughs> it's got this uh, aluminum foil packaging on it, and that just slides right off, and it takes the band off with it. So that's what you're left with. You see how it's kind of fat in the front, and it gets skinnier towards the back, kind of like a spliff. You know, if you ever smoked weed back in the day or watched the movies or listened to music <laughs> when they talked about it, that's what a spliff would look like. But, uh, man, it's a beautifully, beautiful cigar. I mean, the, the wrapper on it is very smooth. Well, no, it's not smooth. It's veiny, but it's it's real slick and oily, okay? Now, it is a Nicaraguan Puro, Aganorsa Leaf Blend. It is a repeat of the original Carolina Reaper, and it's basically it's a combination, the Carolina Reaper and the Fat Jalapeno. So they're using the shape of the Fat Jalapeno with the blend of the Carolina Reaper. Okay, um, and they don't, Viaje is very secretive about their uh, their blends. They don't really, it's Nicaraguan. That's all they're going to tell you. Also released with this cigar were the two different blends of the Short Shot. If you don't know what the Short Shot is, I did a review on one last year. They're, they come in like a shotgun shell box and they're like four inches. Okay, three and a half, four inch cigars. They look like shotgun shells. They're called Super Shots. And they are powerhouse little cigars, little quick smokes. Kind of novel, I guess, because it's a quick smoke. But, hey, I always pick them up. They're, they're, they're worth it if you can get your hands on them. So back to this thing. Uh, very smooth cigar. No prominent veins. Just a couple. There's one. There's two. Seamless. I can't. I'm trying to find the seams. So damn near seamless. Chocolate brown, like a, like a uh, nice, like a milk chocolatey brown wrapper. Like a peppery barnyard coming off of the uh, wrapper. And I can't get no foot smell because it's closed up like the way it is, like a little nipple there. So I'm not going to. A lot of people I know, especially with the fat jalapeno last year, we had them. There were a couple of us sitting around the, sh uh, the, the lounge smoking them. A lot of guys would go ahead and get their guillotine cut and they would, or cutter, and go ahead and cut that nipple off. I don't do that. I just light it right up and let it do what it's going to do. So I'm going to give this thing a punch a light and come back and tell me what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right, all right. I can't find my little, I don't have my Bic. And I don't have my little pocket torch, so I'm using 
the creme brulee lighter from H. Upman, or it came in a, I don't know if H. Upman, they probably don't make it, but it came in a sampler pack with some H. Upmans that I got for Christmas. All right, so just right away, it's very earthy, very peppery. It's really all I'm getting is like wrapper. So it's going to take a minute for that to open up. All right, so while that's opening up, I'll just go ahead and touch on if this, if you didn't catch the last video, um, I want to look at doing a, like a live, a live stream, smoking a cigar, talking about cigars here. You guys can get on and we can all chat and, uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know what it is. You see it all the time. I see it all the time. I just don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out this week. And if I don't figure it out this week, I'll get it in for next week. We'll do it on Sunday. If that's cool, I'll just figure everybody's at home in the evening on Sunday. You know, not too late at night because everybody's got to go to work. And uh, we'll call it the Sherp Herf and uh, see if we can get that going. I think that'd be fun. I watched some other guys do that. And I'm like, man, that's cool. I like that. I like, I'm actually on there, you know. So sometimes <laughs> I'll just be listening and, you know, I, not like I'm ghost watching or nothing. I'll, I'll get involved and I'll, I'll say things. But I think it's kind of cool. I like it. If I didn't have my own channel, it's something that I would, I would be gravitate. I would gravitate towards someone's channel if they had something like that. I think that's really cool. Um, so, yeah. So, I appreciate the feedback from the last video. Just earth and pepper. That's all I'm really getting right now. But then again, it's, it's just not opened up yet. So I tell you what, I'm going to... Oh, I wanted to apologize and pre-apologize when I post this video and for the, the posting of the video last night. I have no idea really what I'm doing. So there was a live feed open while it was... Pre I set that to premiere. I did that earlier in the day or the day before. And I set the time that I wanted to go off and, and, and be available. Um, and it opened up the live feed and I wasn't around to kind of answer or anything like that. That may happen again this time. I don't know if that's a new feature on YouTube or it's just a button that I was not clicking before that I accidentally clicked. But like I said, I'll work out these kinks, show. But let me, let me get into the first third of this thing. Come back and tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right, all right. We are now on the fattest part of the cigar. So we are in the first third now. It's got past that little nipple. I'm going to tell you what. This cigar is peppery. Okay, it's peppery, but along with that pepper is a citrus note, okay? And y'all know how I feel about citrus, but the pepper and the citrus are working together, and it does give you the sensation of like a the meat of a red pepper. And I believe I said this about the jalapeno last year. It's not that it tasted like the meaty part of the pepper. It was kind of just the way the, the flavors went together. And it could be subliminal too, because you know, it comes wrapped like a chili pepper, but you will get a citrus flavor. Okay. On the palate, you're going to get a lot of pepper. The retro hell on this thing. I mean, it is long. It burns. It, it's, you got like a, it's black pepper, but then it's like a red pepper finish. Okay. It just really keeps on burning. There is a sweetness starting to come in. I don't know what kind of sweet. It's just sweetness. It's almost uh, like a cane sugar, maybe like a brown, like not a brown sugar, but a sugar in the raw. It's pretty sweet, actually. The sweet's more on the like on the palate, on the finish. Like initially, it's like sour and spicy, and then as it the spice kind of makes its way out of your um, your sinuses and your and the palate, you're left with like this lingering sweetness. And there's some spice there. Not like cinnamon spice, more like just nutmeg by itself. So that's what I'm going to say right now. You got citrus, you got a lot of pepper. I mean, pepper, pepper, uh, black and red pepper. There is the uh, nutmeg spice. What else did I, did I say citrus? Well, let me start all over again. Pepper, citrus, oh, and the sweetness. And the sweetness is like on the lips. It almost like it's got a sweet tip on it. Weird. It's a very... It does not remind me of any other cigar, so it's it's pretty unique. But I don't know how I feel about it at this point, but I'm going to let it uh, heat up, get in more into the first third. So I'm going to count that initial light up as just nothing because you really weren't getting no flavors. I'm going to count this as the first third and uh, at the light up, and we'll come back in the uh, first third and tell you what I think about it. I can't get my words out tonight. Stay tuned. All right, all right. We're well into the first third now, so... Uh, there's been a little bit of a transition in the flavor, but 
very slight, okay? On top of the, uh, it's still peppery. It's still peppery. The pepper is going to get you in the back of the throat, kind of give me the hiccups a little bit. I had to kind of back off and uh, do some breathing exercises to knock the, the hiccups down. It's it really coating the sinuses with an oily, like, pepper. Uh, it's black pepper at first, but then it's like a lingering red pepper, okay? Excuse me. It's got a a sweetness. I'm still going to say, like, raw sugar. I, it's not really brown sugar. It's not deep enough. A leather note comes in and, and kind of, like, takes over, okay? But the one thing that has not changed and it has kind of just heated up and, and become more bold, I guess you would say, is that citrus. And that citrus is not a citrus that I like at all. It reminds me of, it leaves the taste in your mouth like, it, like it doesn't taste like grapefruits, okay? But if you drink grapefruit juice, cocktail, you know, the stuff that you're not, not pure squeezed, you start drinking it at first and it you, you start thinking there's like a little bit of sweetness to it. So you're like, ooh, this is good, you know? But then you, you the finish on it, you know, you, you, you finish with your sip, you put the glass down and that lingering grapefruity citrus is, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm not saying I taste grapefruits or anything like that. It's just that, the, the, that, that feeling like orange juice leaves like a nice sweet citrus, you know what I'm saying? But like grapefruit juice leaves like a this. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. There's hints of coffee in there sometimes, like when I'm taking a, uh, a draw, like right there. That sweetness, okay? That sweetness and that coffee come together and you're like, oh, this is going to be good. And then the finish is like sour grapefruit juice. Now, with that, it does give you the mental note of the meat of the red pepper, okay? Because it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, it could be just subliminal, but I, I swear it's got like a red pepper meat. Not the spicy part, not the seeds, not the inner, just the, the outside. Almost like a, like, a, like a bell pepper, red bell pepper. It gives you that type of nuance. I guess, I don't know, I'm really searching here because I'm just really not enjoying it. <laughs> just not yet. I am right here. Best part of the cigar, right there. Right off the end of the draw. Goes in, it's nice and sweet, it's a little earthy. Coffee, and then it starts to come out and the finish is like leather, grapefruit, juice finish, and pepper. I don't know. I'm going to keep toking along, though. I'm going to get on down in the second, third, and come back and tell you what I think about it. Stay tuned. All right, all right. We're in the second, third, halfway through the cigar. Thing is burning absolutely great. The ash is still on there. You know, I'm not... Oh, there we go. That hung on for about two inches there. Hold on, let me get that off the table. Ooh. Um, so not too many, not too many changes. Uh, happy to report that the citrus does tone itself down a bit and it becomes more like a leather. So it still kind of leaves that, I don't know. It's still like a, like a, the after effects of a grapefruit juice, the finish of a grapefruit juice. But the sweetness becomes more like a brown sugar. Still heavy, heavy pepper. Medium plus, it's pretty strong. It's got some strength to it too. So I'd say it's medium bodied, medium plus bodied and uh, medium strength so far. Oily smoke, almost creamy, but that pepper just, it's just like an oily smoke. Very long finish on it. And it's a leather, it's a long leathery finish. The spice is still nutmeg. It, it, sometimes it, it ramps up. And you get most of the flavors as you're drawing on it. Just as you're pulling off the cigar, you get that nice, warm, earthy, coffee, brown sugar, nutmeggy, and you think, oh, this is going to be good, and it's real peppery, and then the finish is just, it's too leathery for me. So don't let my opinion sway you. I remember, there's guys out there that love citrus on a cigar. They have people that love uh, metallic on a cigar. People that really like 
wood and leather. You know what I mean? I like wood, but I'm not a big... I like leather in small doses, but I'm kind of disappointed. And I'll tell you why. I've had a bad day with cigars. I don't know what the problem was. I mean, the first cigar I smoked this morning was the um, Bagueros, that Cuban bundle stick, and it burned perfect, and it was great. Nice with a cup of coffee. Smoked it first thing in the morning. Then, you know, I bought a box of the Las Moreas, and the Las Moreas is one of my favorite. I've been smoking so many Las Moreas. I've already, I've already bought three boxes like in the past two weeks, okay? I haven't smoked them all, but I've been going through them. So the last box I bought was the, um, it was like a 54 ring gauge, like a Toro. I forget, Cyclopes is, is the nomenclature. And it was plugged, okay? And that pissed me off. Because I worked it out. I tried to work it. I tried to roll it. I punched, you know, I stuck. I didn't have my perfect draw tool, not for like a couple of months now. So I used to drill bit. So finally, I, I halfway through, I just threw it out the window and was like, ah, you know, I just wasn't satisfied. I wanted to have a good experience. So then I grabbed one of the uh, Jose Pedras, the, uh, the cheap Cuban cigar, and it was plugged too. And it was so knotted up and I could feel the knot in the middle. And then as I'm trying to like roll it, like, you know, you try to work it, work it out, loosen it up. It popped the damn wrapper, and then I couldn't get no air through it, so I threw that one out. And then I freaking went to, all right, I'll try this again. About forty-five minutes later, I just wasn't satisfied. I got one of my bundle sticks, the JR's um, Nicaraguan Overruns, and it was absolutely horrible. It was horrible. You know, it's a bundle stick, so sometimes you get some good ones, and most of the time, my experience with those cigars have been good. But sometimes you get some that are a little real grassy, like, like, like dry grass or there, they it just wasn't good. So yeah. So I was really looking forward to this one. Now the construction on this thing is great. It is drawing perfectly. Uh, it's burning great. It feels good. It looks good. That wasn't bad. Mm. after that ash fell off okay all right so that grapefruit flavor is pretty much gone so now i'm just getting leather coffee some earthiness brown sugar and that nutmeg and it's still heavy with pepper so i'm gonna bring it into the final third come back and tell you what i think about it stay tuned all right all right we are Coming into the final third, and I'm going to just go ahead and leave it at that, okay? I'm just not enjoying it. The citrus note does go away, okay? It's met with leather, okay? So it, it, leather really comes to the forefront. It does get sweeter. The coffee note does ramp up, okay? So that brown sugar, that coffee, that nutmeg is still there. The pepper, solid all the way through, okay? Okay? Oily smoke, it burns perfect. I mean, razor sharp burn. Ash hangs on, draws. I mean, it's just all around is a very well put together cigar. The flavor profile, just not for me. And maybe it's just because I've had a bad day with cigars. And I was looking forward to this one because I really did like the, um, the fat jalapeno. It's a good cigar. Like I said, when you first um, take a draw and you're taking the smoke in, it's really good. It's really robust. It's very thick smoke. It's very sweet, coffee, nutmeggy, a little bit of leather, but it's on the finish that I'm just not digging. And it's not my palate. I have cleansed my palate three times with dark chocolate, Dr. Pepper. You know, I ate right before I did the review, so I don't know. I'm not going to say don't try the cigar. I mean, it's it's a limited run. Viaje is a is a very and they they do very good cigars. I really didn't touch on the history of the uh, company because it's it's a newer company, but they're very meticulous about their uh, their blends and their their construction. I've never had a bad constructed one. The Super Shots, great cigar. Um, the Fat Jalapeno, which you can't get anymore, uh, was good. There's a few other. I can't recall the actual like the brand names, but the company Viaje. It's a very, very, very high-end experience. So I recommend, I'm not trying, I don't want to scare anybody off. I don't even want to scare you off of this one. You know, if you if you can find them in your shop, you may have a different experience. Your palate may be different, may accept the flavor profile better than mine. I'm just, 
It's just not for me. I'm still going to smoke it, though. It's burning too good to just put out. I think I paid $10 for it. I grabbed five of them, you know. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just let the other four just kind of hang out in the humidor for a while and circle back on it in a few months and see if it changes. But that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. Cigar Sherpa, Laird Mayhew reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet. But always have a backup plan in case things go south. And I'm out.